Barb Kaisman, and today I wanted to share with you how I experienced a word of knowledge and it brought forth a divine healing in, in a relative of ours. We were visiting our relatives and uh, talking about you know, how is the family doing and just having general conversation. When one of our cousins walked in, he was a young man about 16 years old, and he didn't look too good. And so I said, what's the matter? And he goes, I've had this rash for, and I've been to doctors three times and I can't get rid of it and it's making me miserable. And I said, well, can we pray for you? And he said, he agreed. And so the group of us, we just prayed a simple prayer in the name of Jesus. We just command that rash to go in the name of Jesus. And then we just went back to general conversation, just checking to see, you know, how everybody was doing, where they came from and so forth. And then all of a sudden, I pointed at him and I said, <laughs> that rash will be gone by tomorrow morning. And silence, awkward silence. And in my mind, I'm going, oh my gosh, Lord, you better back me up. And I wanted to say, oh, may maybe it won't happen, maybe it will. But I couldn't take those words back. Once they came out in that kind of power, I couldn't take them back. I, I had to let it stand. And I had never been used in this gift before, and that's perhaps why I was feeling so awkward. But I knew something was different about those words. I knew that they didn't come from me. And, it, and to be honest with you, I don't know how I got that information. I didn't hear a voice. It just, I don't know how I got that information. But when I got it, I spoke it forth. And I couldn't take it back. Well, <laughs> thankfully, that rash was gone by tomorrow morning. It was gone the next day. And you know what? That young man had an experience from the Lord that he could only give credit to the Lord because he had been to the doctors three times and they couldn't get rid of it. But because of a word of knowledge, that rash was gone and he had a supernatural experience from God. The spiritual gifts are God's way of just overcoming some of the works of the devil and to give people a supernatural evidence that he still exists and is in, he wants to help them. Anyway, just wanted to share my story of the first time I was ever used in the word of knowledge and maybe you'll be open to the possibility of God using you in that gift. I'm Barbara Keisman and you've been listening to Dare to Dream once more.